the last uh, year during consideration of the Inflation Reduction Act, um, there was a, a, a discussion about whether or not there would be increased audits of people making less than $400,000. Because you all recall, the Democrats appropriated or, or funded $80 billion for new IRS agents, 87,000 new IRS agents. And at the time, Republicans uh, offered an amendment led by Senator Crapel that would have uh, forced the IRS not to increase audits on people making less than $400,000 per year. Every single Democrat voted against that amendment. And now we find out through the IRS watchdog that the IRS is not going to be able to adhere to the pledge that they made to ensure that people under, making under $400,000 a year uh, aren't subject to increased audits uh, under the guise of agility. They need agility uh, in order to reach their funding goals um, for, the, uh, for the IRS. Well, this is exactly what we suggested was going to happen that ultimately all that money, all those new IRS agents, we're going to start auditing people making less than $400,000 a year. And it's another byproduct of Bidenomics. What have we gotten with Bidenomics? We got increased audits, you got higher interest rates, crippling inflation, lower buying power, and depleted savings accounts. That's what we get with Bidenomics. That's what the, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act ultimately is yielded in terms of an outcome and a result, uh, which many of us predicted. Uh, the work before us, obviously, this week, as the leader pointed out, is to try and make sure we get the government funded so that we can get a normal appropriations process going where we can have the big policy and funding debates that we should be having uh, through normal uh, appropriation bill debates where not just members of the Appropriations Committee but also uh, of our entire caucus have an opportunity through the amendment process to have their voices heard.